Hey everybody, this is Justin Case. Joining our friend and media personality, Jerry Maldonado, back for another installment of American Mentoring. Hello, Jerry. Welcome back to American News Kid. Hey, man. I love that. Boom. Just that before we come on. That's what, <laughs> that kind of wakes me up. Yeah, that's exactly. Kind of that's, that's what wakes hey, us up. Yeah. Puts us hey, in the mood. Talk about persistence, man. I yeah. love it. I love it. Yeah, I, I hope you guys had a good week. Uh, thank you for the Jackson views. I love the show. I love coming on. Well, we love having you, Jerry, and you bring a lot to it. So today we've decided we're going to talk about memories. Okay. Hey, yes. Jerry. Jerry, what's happening Wait. with memories? I hear Barbara Streisand in the background, man. Wait, let me let me go check on it and see what's let's, going on here. Let's turn down yeah, I think I, my, 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 my presumption or assumption, per se, of memories can be good and or bad. I think when Zuckerberg was developing Facebook, he said, wait, let's put something on there, man. Let's make sure people keep coming back because people love memories and so-called nostalgia. And and I see it in my, my feed every day, a constant feed of memories that people keep living in, whether it's something that happened to them or for them. It, it's a great it's a great tool to use. But nostalgia is awesome, but, mis but nostalgia belongs in a museum. Right. And a lot of us are curators of that museum of memories that should not be there. And what, what I say blatantly, if the past hurts, go create a new one. And every second, every second that I've gone by in these few seconds here is creating a past. So the more good you put in now, the better past you're going to create later. Well, absolutely. I mean, we're all um, stewards of our own memories. Yeah. Yeah, and we're all fixating. We're all fixating on so many things at so many times. So why not try and manage what we need to manage with with regard to memories? You know, last week yes. we, ta we talked about if you're bogged down, those bad memories can actually turn into hauntings. So if you catch yourself, oh, haunting is it, it, that that's an understatement. <laughs> yeah. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. So let's suck up the good memories and, uh, you know, let's not live in the past. If you go to your high 30th high school reunion, you want to talk about memories with a bunch of others. There's the place for it. Yeah, it, it, you know, to get to the bottom line, it sounds so passe. I mean, memories, oh, it's a great thing to hold on to. Really? Really? I ask myself that all the time, man. And, and you know from our history how long we've known each other. I mean, there's there, there's a lot of good stuff in there and a lot of bad stuff. Uh, a lot of us seem to, but we seem to reflect on a lot of the bad. It, it could be good. It could be used as wisdom per se. But when you realize that you're living now, you're living right now, and every moment from now is a memory, and you keep surrounding yourself with with good points in your life, you're going to constantly create good memories. Therefore, you're going to live in those good memories. That so-called nostalgia of, of the museum of the mind, it never goes away. But, but true transformation is you just re-inputting what's already there and kind of pushing everything to the backside of the subconscious mind. It sounds really complex from a psychological level, but it's really not. The environment that you're in creates the memories that you're, you're going to live from. So it's so imperative that you put yourself in a place that's conducive to where you want to go on a constant basis or else those memories are going to pile up from yesterday to five seconds ago to five years ago. They're going to pile up. And it, 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 no matter how many times you try to avoid it, you're going to get triggered back through your five senses into the memories you're trying to avoid. Well, absolutely. You know, we all know people, and I'm not saying I don't fall into this category as well, <laughs> that break, break up, have a horrific relationship, break up, and then two years later they find themselves back in the relationship because they pushed the bad aside <laughs> They remembered the good part of the relationship. And on rekindling that relationship, all those old memories come flooding back. Well, you bring up a great point, Mr. King, as, as usual, man. Mr. King. It doesn't have to be the same person. Correct. If you keep living in the memory of the past relationship, you're going to attract the same person to match that relationship. And th this is the this is the reason why people keep going from one to the other to the other, or they keep failing, failing, failing in business because they keep doing things the same way. And it's so imperative that you realign what's in front of you 
because what's behind you is not going to help you. It's not. It's not. And people have to grasp that. Yeah, memories are great. I have photos in my house and actually photos, believe it or not, not, not you know, of, of my children and memories. Stuff like that is great. But what you surround yourself, you become. And you get more invoked into that backside of life. The more you live in it every single day, therefore, you keep attracting the same scenarios and feelings. Therefore, you keep attracting the same events in your life simultaneously. Well, and you've, you've, you've tried to help us in the past stating, and I remember this, I, remember, I have a memory of you specifically telling us we need to change what we put out there so we start attracting what we need to fulfill ourselves. Yes, yeah. you got to be what you want on the inside first to attract what you want on the outside later. And But the problem is we're, we're encumbered. Our mind is filled with all of what used to be, and it's, it shouldn't be. You be what you want to be on the inside, heart, mind, and soul. Follow that every single day. Put yourself in the environment that's conducive to where you want to go. Watch how many new present moments create some past memories that are going to fit the narrative of where you want to go. It's a simple setup, but people think that they have so many memories of, of where they've been that overwhelm them because they keep surrounding themselves with the same type of environment that triggers the same memories. Well, it's, uh, and maybe it's a little bit harder for me, Jerry. You know, I'm a big history buff. I savor oh, history. I savor history. And then, lo and behold, my own history will filter back into my buffering. Let's say that. Is that, is that it? It's when we history buffs or yeah, we Yeah, but you understand it. Oh, no, yeah. no, you, but, but you, you, but you understand the concept behind it. You're looking at history from a, a knowledge level and, and a passionate level, just like I do. I don't look at it, but, but the majority of people don't look at it that way. They look at it of where they've been well, instead you know, of where they want to go. You're, you're doing it on a, not a reflection, but you're doing it as, as a knowledge intake because of your passion about what happened back then. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I love that. I, I do it every day. But people are so accustomed to um, going back to where they've been, and they wonder why they can't move forward to where they want to go. Well, you know, you you brought up Zuckerberg and f Facebook, and uh, you know, I, there's probably a way. But on my Facebook feeds and my business feeds, it says you posted this four years ago. Would you like to yeah. share it again? And sometimes I go, what in the world was I thinking? What kind of a place was I in? I yeah, would but listen, l listen to what you just said. You forgot about it. Yeah, exactly. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? That, that this is what I'm talking about because you put yourself in a place where you're not where you were back then. You you just you just simplified the equation, Einstein. Wait, man, you, you didn't keep <laughs> going back and doing the same thing over and over again. And trying to get the same result you you inadvertently learned from where you were well and it's great it, it, it's a great analysis of self i would have smiled big old on that one man that's good for you <laughs> good for me i get a cookie <laughs> i win a cookie um <clears throat> but no i don't and we don't need facebook to tell us what you know share our memories back with us and share it with Indeed. others we need to move Indeed. forward we need to put out new information to try and attract oh. what we need yeah, and people are grasping that now. I mean, the thousands of YouTube channels on on the law of attraction, the science, the metaphysics behind it. I mean, we're, we're all learning now, and it's getting the, the media really pissed off. They're saying, wait, we can't condition them to think a certain way anymore. <laughs> because people are learning that now. They're not doing the old Walter Cronkite way of that's the way it is. No, no, it's the way I create it. And it's a great thing to live by now, but people are still grasping the fact that this is how life is. No, no, meatball, you create your own life. You take responsibility for that. You start implanting every single day and watering what you want to do, like I do every day with journaling as my own, my own, how should we say, psychological event that I push forward every single day with a smile, thank you. And I keep doing it every day because I want to implant better presence. Indeed, but that's the reason why they call them gifts, man. Better presence in my life, so I'm going to reap the rewards later. The Are, hell, rewards? What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you got me in a moment. Let me wipe my brow here. Here we go. Well, I, That's what I'm talking about. You lost me when I I pictured you smiling, and I, and I'm guessing you do. I'm guessing you're grinning ear to ear oh, yeah. when you're journaling every morning. Yeah, I got the buzz in the ears, and I got some nice classical music on. Because if you start journaling with with 
like motivational speakers, you're getting off topic. You're listening to them instead of yourself. So a, a key, and this is what I, I had to learn, was put something, what they're not talking to you, put something that's classical or something soft. So you can really get in your mind and think about what you want to have be and do. You, instead of listening to Joe Schmo on the computer, it, it's going to distract the hell out of you, man. So a little, little side bit to that memory, you know, well, okay. It, it all it, it all comes down it all comes down to you. Meaning well, you a, a, as a whole to decide whether you want to live back there or live now. Cuz from now you're going to create more of where you want to go and it's your choice how you want to do it. Well, Jerry, you know we are developing a fan base. I'm not sure why, but we are. And uh so so that being said, <laughs> what do you recommend should they listen to us before before they journal or should they listen to us after they journal? I think people should listen to everything, it, it, meaning everything on the topic, because the, the biggest mistake I made on this quest many moons ago was trying to model how somebody else did it. Right. Well, in, until I learned to grasp hold of all these different avenues that people were sending out and create my own way. You know, you and I can throw little tidbits off the dinner table here to people and then they can grasp it for themselves and model it in their own way. You, you can you can imit you can't imitate some something, man. You can only create with your own way of doing things. And the best way for me was grasping a hold of programs like this, of information to trigger myself, say, wait, there's something better out there and then go find something else to trigger me even more and then combine that in a little mixing bowl of mine and create your own self. That's why they call us self. We're not here to be other people. We can emulate, but we can't imitate. And once you grasp that, you create your own way, then that modeling mantra, it, it kind of gets out of your system and you create your own style because that's why you're here. That's why we have DNA, man. We're, we are our own people. We shouldn't be copying anybody else, but learning from everybody else. Well, and you, I, I assume you enhance your journaling or your, your, uh, the theories that you're putting in your journals as you go you know i it would oh, be yeah. it would be interesting to see what you were writing down 10 years ago compared to today well 10 10 years ago i met when i first started this a decade ago and you bring up a great point i said i want to leave something for my children and now i got hundreds of journals around that they can go back and peruse what i went through and how i evolved from that for them instead of buying a library i created one and if they want to go with it and flow with it, it's up to them. They probably can't read my writing, but at the same time, you bring up a great point. You go from wanting in the very beginning of journaling, say, I want this, I want that, but you'll never get it because you're telling the universe you don't have it, to accepting and being grateful for what you have now. And then from grasping from that, accepting for what you have now and being grateful for it, you start sending in there all your requests and loves and desires. This is... But this is where you start becoming your own little author. And that was the, the theme behind me, myself, and I can, because it's only you, yourself, and you can, that can do all this. Okay. Okay. All righty. That's a, that's a big mouthful, Jerry. And, and you're, you're exactly right. <laughs> you know, and, and, and one of our you great... You must be slow in the processing tonight, man. Well... You're... you're... <laughs> I'm, I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, no, no. You're you're, you're that, right. I, I I am throwing a lot of a lot of stuff tonight, man. So yeah, I was tired in the beginning, but now you got me all wound up before my live <laughs> show. Thanks a lot, man. I was tired in the beginning, and and you're you're giving me a lot of stuff to think about. But you know, Jerry, one of our greatest commonalities is that we we aspire and do what we can to live in the moment. Yes. And that helps yes. us. And that really sincerely helps us both moving forward. You don't even have to know the quantum mechanics behind it. You don't even have to know the science behind it, what you're doing right now. All you got to do is be what you want and live in that as much as you can on the inside. And watch how your life changes. You won't even know it, Meatball, until it's like, whoa, this is what happened to me a week ago. This is the beauty of life. And when people realize you're creating out of thin air, and this is what they're not going to tell you out there, man. They're not going to say, oh, you're that powerful. No, we are that powerful. And, you know, if you had something just happen in your life out of the blue, no, no, it took a long time for it to manifest of you continuously doing that. Hence, like you're being an athlete and so on and so forth. You just kept doing it until, boom, one day it all happened the way you wanted it. 
And this is how, this is the beauty of life. They call it a miracle. But no, Meatball, it's you just constantly doing the same thing over and over again, the way you want it, the way you set it up, the way you created it, and there you go, you get your outcome. And you could do this with anything in life, whether it's finance, love, money, whatever you want to do. You focus on it, you're going to bring upon it. And you're not constrained by being a meatball, right? <laughs> nope. Nope. Everybody's a meatball, man. It, it, it's actually really good. But yeah, you, know, you gotta put you don't put it in the sauce, bake, man. You gotta put it in there raw. Let it slow cook like like mom does. This way it breaks apart. Oh, it's so beautiful. I mean, you guys gotta stop by her house one day. My God. And we're but not... don't fry the meatballs, meatball. Don't don't sear them. They get all tough, man. You don't want to do that. Put them in the yeah. sauce. Go ahead. And I'm we're sorry. Not, <laughs> we're not excluding vegans. I mean, you know, if, if you find no, yourself no. in the state of vegan, you can be a beyond meatball. Beyond Go roll meatball. some grass and just put the grass <laughs> in the tomato sauce, man. You'll be all set. It's all it's all good. It'll taste delicious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It'll hurt all of you. <laughs> well, well, Jerry, you brought it tonight. Do you have some final thoughts for us? Yeah, yeah indeed. I, I always do. I got a big mouth, man. Well, the world, the world is the world is your oyster. The hardest thing is getting to that oyster. And when you really compile a set of words or thoughts instead of memories in your mind of where you want to go, the oyster is going to open, and it's going to be just like that. That things have changed for you. But it's that constant focus, that constant persistence, and that constant perseverance of self and that fortitude of you heading towards your own life. Well, and you know, the only thing I'd add to that is you need to believe your oyster is out there for you. No, you, you we you, already have it. Well, we, we already have it. And we just got to get in there and we got to modify it. We got to trim it. We got to keep pushing, trying to crack that rock, man. And, and, and until you understand what your, what your true purpose is in life, that oyster's going to open. Okay. All righty. Hey. Good job, Jerry. Everybody, this has been Justin Case and Jerry Maldonado bringing you American Mentoring. Thanks for joining us. Remember, additional information and links are provided in this video's read more. Today's the day to subscribe to this channel and seek and find Jerry Maldonado on social media everywhere.